What's up guys? Hello, hello. All right, haven't chatted in a while, but i um, just trained. I just trained some upper body. Uh, everything's been going well, okay? I know I haven't been posting vlogs, but I want to. I want to keep posting. I took a little bit of time off after the show just because like we were traveling a lot and I just needed some just some time, you know what I mean? But I'm doing well, I'm doing so good. I'm over five weeks post-show now. It's crazy how fast time flies too because sometimes like when you're deep in prep, oh my gosh, you know, we're five weeks out, we're four weeks out. But yeah, it's actually a little crazy how fast time flies. Like, bang, already post-show. Yeah, but um, in terms of my training right now, I've just been having some fun in the gym. Like I haven't really been on this structure regimen just because I just wanted to kind of give my body a little bit of a break and I've been still training like don't get me wrong in the gym you know during my normal gym going hours <laughs> like how you know I was still kind of like on my prep routine in a way where I'm still waking up like super early in my body go do something go do something because I was used to you know getting up in the morning doing my cardio not waking up at that time anymore i've been getting up slowly i've been doing like my morning routine i just walked zima outside really just to get some sunlight i'm really trying to gain weight right now um so i'm not doing cardio i just go on like some walks with zima uh, in the morning we'll go like on a little 10 minute walk and then later uh, when it gets colder well later when the sun kind of is dropping I'll go on a walk either with Kyle um, with Zima but yeah I've been really lowering my cardio well not doing any cardio just like lowering my steps um, because I'm trying to gain weight I am a hard person to gain weight you guys I I just I'm a hard gainer I really am um, in terms of me like really trying to put on muscle over the years you know it's just it's hard for me to gain muscle so if I'm going to try and put on you know some muscle here I really just have to eat a ton and I think after the show was over I didn't want to think about okay my meal and this meal I have to bring this meal I have to make sure I'm eating this I'm feeling much better like I just kind of needed that break meal prepping and training really hard but now I'm like at the point where I'm feeling good my hormones are all leveled back out um my post show i didn't really go through any like post show blues this time around just because like i knew going into this last show it was going to be last show of like the season so i really didn't deal with any post show blues i'm just i was just dealing with like that routine of prep get up do do like this the whole routine of prep i told myself just i took it all away like i haven't been tracking my macros I've been way more flexible with what I'm doing in the gym and that's kind of helping me right now too but I need to gain weight I need to make sure I'm eating and I'm ready to put on some muscle I'm ready to grow my glutes what I want right now I just like I just love leg day right now um, upper body day yeah I do love upper body but yesterday I trained legs and I was in there for a long time like just going after it which I which I love but so post show you know my hormones have all leveled back out i'm on my period right now which is good i had my period this whole entire prep but um and i had it a week before my show um during peak week and then it finally went away when i was like two days out and then it was late this time around i was like oh no i didn't get my period i didn't get my period and then bang i got my period yesterday so that shows me everything's in a good spot. I'm gonna get some blood work done too, just to make sure everything's well, but it's good to kind of get on blood work. You know, you wanna kind of wait, you know, eight-ish weeks post-show is a pretty good time, six or eight. So I'll get some blood work here soon, just to check everything out. Guys, aren't these Buff Bunny leggings so hot? So I'm working with Buff Bunny now, and absolutely obsessed with the clothes you guys have no idea have you guys have you girls tried buff bunny i swear every girl needs a pair of buff bunny leggings or a crop top or a sports bra or any of their clothes so flattering it hugs all the right areas and then you feel feel really sexy and confident in it and just very flattering and all the little details that are that are on all of the clothes Heidi definitely puts a lot of thought into like each piece and these leggings right here that I'm wearing 
feels like butter. These are better than Lululemon. I will tell you that for a fact. Better than Lululemon. I have a pair of Lululemon leggings. They are not like these. These are buttery soft, so comfortable it's in all the right areas and the way that it makes like your waist just look so snatched in. I just, I am a huge fan. Buff bunny for life, seriously. The clothes, everything. So yeah, I'm just so happy that I can share buff bunny with you guys. I should, I'm telling you, please just try, just try if you have, any questions about the leggings or anything? I realize that there's a lot of sizing and I'm usually a medium in leggings, but with Buff Bunny, I'm actually a small or an extra small. I just have like a very big line of, uh, of fit and you can find the right fit for you. But like right now, since I'm kind of post-show, I'm still like an extra small. Yeah, and you can always use my code Lauren10 to support me and to get you some percentage off your order. And then I do giveaways. I do giveaways every single month. So it's either, I, I did my last one on my Instagram. So be on the lookout because every single month I do giveaways and I give out two giveaway winners. I just really want you girls to try Buff Bunny. Amazing, so cute, so cute and comfy and just flattering. But all right, all right, that's it. That's kind of the update. Good morning, please bear with me. I have morning voice right now, but I just want to give you a look into my morning routine because this is everything to me. This is my therapy time. It's my me time. It sets me up to have a very productive day. So I get up around six o'clock right now or sometimes 6.30. Right when I get up, I tongue scrape immediately because it's actually pretty crazy how much bacteria collects on your tongue. So you get up, tongue scrape, then I'll go ahead and drink my 25 ounces of water, make my coffee, and something that I've been incorporating over the past couple of months is oil pulling. It has been a game changer with my oral health. I just went to the dentist recently and they were so surprised on how strong my gums were and my teeth have been so white and just very, very good for your oral health. Well, I switched it around my mouth for about 20 or 30 minutes and while I am doing that, I am cleaning the house because I get very lazy at night and I don't clean. So when I get up in the morning, I work from home and I just need a clean space. So I wipe off the counters and clean the, the living room, fluff out the pillows and everything. I will gargle with salt water. Then I will go into the sun, get my 10 minutes of sunshine, do my skincare routine. So I'll wash my face. I'll put on the vitamin C and my sunscreen. After that, I have to make my morning drink, which is lemon, apple cider vinegar, water, and I also put electrolytes in there as well. Kyle has been obsessed with this drink too, so I'll make one for him as well. Just got done working out, worked legs, buff bunny outfit, so cute. All right, anyways, it's Kyle's 30th birthday. Dirty 30. <laughs> I don't know how people say dirty 30 or uh, 30 licious or, I don't know, there, there was all these funny sayings and I bought all this random stuff off of Amazon last night and then all this stuff for the house. I got like this toilet paper too. It's kind of funny. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I got him some things. I got him some some air, some air, new AirPods um, because I have the ones that like cancel out noise. So I got him that. 
I, I got him some other things and then I just thought it would be cute. I I, uh, I printed out these pictures and I wanna open it up right now and see what it looks like. It's these pictures that we took. Oh, go get a frame. Oh my gosh, it's cute. Cameron, Cameron took this of us. That one. I don't really wanna get my fingers all over it. Aww. It looks so good. Walgreens. Walgreens did a good job. And then that one of us. Aww. <laughs> I don't know. I know he's going to be like, oh, okay, Lord. But I think it's cute. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, I got him some other things too. But um, we need pictures in our house, you know? And I think it's nice to have like you know, photos and stuff. So, um, just to make it a little bit more homey in our house. So yeah, I need to go get some, I need to go get some frames for this, but that's what I got for his birthday. I made brownies. Brownies. Oh yeah. Woohoo. Look at, ooh, I gotta let them cool off, but dang. Those brownies. The brand I got because it was very low ingredients. Look at those ingredients. Super small. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. This is my supplements. My supplement drawer. I love my supplements. Okay, but I took out my nighttime supplements that have been really helping me just calm down at night and helping me with my anxiety. I get a little bit of anxiety at night and this concoction right here helps. I will take L-theanine. I will take sometimes 200, if not sometimes 400. Uh, milligrams of L-theanine. I will take my magnesium glycinate. This really helps calm my whole entire body. And um, especially if you have like heart pal palpations or whatever, this helps so much. I get like the best sleep ever when I take, I, I mean, I take it every night, but I take my magnesium glycinate. I'll take 200, sometimes 400 milligrams of theanine, cycle on and off taking ashwagandha. Um, so I'll go like four weeks on, four weeks off with my ashwagandha. And these two right here, I love these two. These two tinctures right here, I get I get them from Rolling Oats. It's the my local like health food store. Um, they're little tinctures and I'll put it in water or a tea. First, I will show you passion flower. This helps me just calm down as well and puts me in like a really good mood. And I'll take a full tincture of my passion flower. This just overall just helps, honestly, like my nervous system just calm down. But I'll take my passion flower, one full tincture at night but I would take my lemon balm like 30 minutes before bed. Bang, knocked out. I love this. Last night I just got, uh, I think like eight hours of really great sleep. So yeah, try this little concoction out for your nighttime. Chlorophyll Drops. This is the brand. The brand I'm using. Okay guys, so I'm going to end the video here. 
yeah, I'm excited to take you guys through my improvement season phase and me gaining weight. I am, that's why I like posting on YouTube. It really keeps me accountable. And yeah, I really, really, really need to gain weight. Okay, so in this next phase of my YouTube series, it's gonna be me putting on weight. I really, really need to. I need to, um, just because it's very important for me to put on the muscle that I wanna be putting on. I really want to just grow all over and it's gonna gonna be uncomfortable, you know. Like for me to put on the the, the muscle that I want, it, it's it's gonna be uncomfortable. Just how sometimes in prep, it's uncomfortable when you're lean, right? It, it is. Just like that, it's gonna be you know uncomfortable for me to gain some weight. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have you know more body fat on me, obviously, but and I'm gonna kind of be feeling a little bit uncomfortable putting on some body fat but it's necessary it's it's necessary for me to put on the muscle that I need to put on it's gonna help me train train harder and yeah so I'm excited to share with you guys this next phase in my YouTube series um, because yeah I share all aspects with YouTube. I share when I'm prepping for my shows. I show my ups. I show my downs. I, I, I really love sharing um, just where my mindset is in terms of just everything. And I just appreciate you guys just always being here for me too. I feel like I can really be open and share. But yeah. Oh, also real quick, um, if you want to work with me with posing you reach out okay all my stuff is down below but um, recently I've been doing a lot of in-person posing if you live in Tampa St. Pete area I would love to be your posing coach meet you up in person and do some posing um, I do wellness posing and bikini posing and then yeah I just wanted to mention that here as well and I also kind of want to share um, other aspects of my life as well not just with um, fitness because I do have a lot of other hobbies and I'm just wondering if you guys are interested in that um, because there's other things that I'm that I love to do so yes I know I show you guys a lot of like my food and a lot of my training but I actually kind of want to share with you guys things that I do outside like maybe what Kyle and I are doing on the weekends for an example I love the boat I love boating um, as you can see, you know, in my previous vlogs, we got a dock, we got a seawall, and I personally really want to get myself a boat. Um, I grew up on the water, and that's just my happy place. I love the water. Um, you know, my dad, you know, he, he passed away uh, a few years ago, but that, that was our thing that we did together. He would always take me on the water. We would always drive to the beach and we would always go wakeboarding and scurfing so i've been doing a lot of that on the weekends and i just want to know if i can share some other things outside of fitness um, also some things that i've been into is really changing my my skincare routine and just things that are non-toxic i threw out all of the bleach in our house i've been making all of my own products and it's pretty cool what you can do with cleaning your house with non-toxic products, I'm, I'm, I just think that I'm, I'm, I'm switching out a lot of our things, and I've been making my own. I've been using white vinegar, rubbing alcohol, essential oils, and I've been really, be, I'm just very mindful of actually what I'm putting on my skin. I do have an, a really cool app that I use that I, I'll scan a product. Um, whether it's a cleaning product or a food or a skincare product and it will rate actually the product and if it's if it's a good good for you or not so yeah I just I just I don't know I don't know if you guys want to see any of that type of stuff let me know in the comments but okay guys I'm gonna leave the video here thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one